Our third they cut yep. off the lights. They have no whole vibe over there, okay? Number one still was lit, though. Yeah, they had to make up their own music. They was up in there cutting up. They had a few minutes down on the table, t chugging it down, uh, but... Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, I'm looking at the energy, energy. They all have energy, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. Trust me. But it look though. more like, we're gonna just hum <laughs> together, yes, you know yes. what I'm saying? Just yes. wave back and forth. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. While we often update our Oktoberfest tent rankings, by far the one that's remained at the top year after year has been the Hofbrau tent. As the child of Munich's historic Hofbrauhaus beer hall, this is the wildest and most fun out of all the Oktoberfest tents. Oh yeah, he lit. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. The Hofbrau tent is huge with nearly 10,000 mm -hmm. seats inside and out, and it's so big that it sells over 750,000 liters of beer every Oktoberfest. The average level of energy and enthusiasm at the Hofbrau tent any day of the week is unmatched. Because it is so popular, the Hofbrau tent attracts the largest percentage of foreign visitors at Oktoberfest, leaving it often to be called the international tent. From everywhere. They're coming from everywhere. As a whole, only around 15% of the visitors at Oktoberfest are foreigners, but at the Hofbrau tent it can be as high as 30% international visitors. But regardless on where people oh, are from, snap. everybody at the Hofbrau tent is here to have a good time, and the live music becomes a universal language. Yeah, they said we're gonna create a safe place well, if you for us to get drunk and have fun <laughs> and sing to the top of our lungs. That's what we gonna do. I think that's genius. Bro. I don't know. I don't know, babe. I don't wanna go to the international team. No, I ain't trying to pull up. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the method the locals. And, uh, and, and and how they pull up everything together, like it's they piece it together well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we're gonna we know we got people in this world that love to drink. Mm -hmm. Let's get our best tasting beer. Let's build a tent. And yeah, let's sell tickets. Yeah. Made a killing. Made a killing. Oh, all that all that beer. Ten thousand. Two locals will say that the Hofbrau tent is only for stupid tourists. In reality, locals book all of the evening and weekend reservation spots up to a year in advance. There are even huge sections inside the Hofbrau tent just for these local-only reservation spots. Luckily, there's an abundance of unreserved seats at the Hofbrau, which is another reason why it's the best tent at Oktoberfest. If you watched our video on how to get reservations for Oktoberfest, you know how important it is to plan ahead to get a seat, and these extra unreserved seats at Hofbrau can really help out a lot. Hofbrau. I don't know why I'm looking for wings on one of these tables. Wings. Bro, I'm looking for wings you so see bad. Food? I don't see none. I don't see no food. I see strictly <laughs> beer, but I know I'm just looking for wings. Like, I, I, it's just me. Y'all let us know. Why we just drinking? That's it? Yeah, like. Because uh, need something to eat. A wing. Who even has a? I know you gotta put some on your something before you look at it. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm gonna tell you what. Gonna be calling on Earl. Very unique Who's thousand Earl? person standing room only section that gets to be a lot of fun. Similar to oh, Hopper's famous nice. restaurant, oh, all of the food in the tent is very good, but most people come here for the beer. As a great compliment to the lively so indoor atmosphere, good. the Hofbrau also has an excellent outdoor beer garden. With so many festive elements, great beer, and an unmatched level of energy, it's no surprise that so many visitors to Oktoberfest have the Hofbrau tent at the top of their bucket list. Adorned with the cityscape of Munich on its facade, okay. our second favorite tent at Oktoberfest is the Hockupschau. How many seats you think this one is? Last one was 10,000 seats. I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's see. Let's see. 
The Hakabshaw tent, also known as the Haka, has over 9,000 seats, a very famous mural painting covering the walls, and their brewery has been in business since 1417. The huge, brightly colored mural covering the walls and ceiling inside the Hakabshaw tent is what definitely sets the festive mood. The gorgeous 360 degree work of art depicts Old World Munich underneath a sky of clouds and Bavarian stars. Oh, so it's no food. wonder that the Hakabshaw tent has gained the nickname of Himmel de Bayern, which means the heaven that. of Bavaria. See, yeah. Because the inside of oh, I could definitely tell a huge difference between the first tent and this tent. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of our American people over there. Wait, they even said the foreigners. Yes, singing, singing the songs and doing the dances and all that. Kind they seem civilized. For now, <laughs> for now, we still just tiptoe into number two. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, you know, this is called Heaven of Bav Bavaria. 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 <laughs> I like the mural. It looks nice. The Hakabshaw tent is so beautiful, it's a favorite among the German TV stations and professional photographers. The view from the second story balcony is one of the best vantage points in all of Oktoberfest. Okay, Much like the Hofbrau tent, the Hakabshaw is definitely a very energetic place any time of day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Another one. With the gorgeous mural backdrop, what really fuels the atmosphere inside the Hakab Short tent is the amazing live music. Oh, Starting with brass oompa music. music and moving into classic rock hits, the intensity of the music in the Hakab Short tent is helped by the fact that their band is centrally located. Oh, okay. The stage in the middle of the tent also rotates and it's decorated with nine red-coated barrel makers known as Coopers. These joyful figures mirror the ones inside the Glockenspiel at Munich's new town hall. With a combination of beauty and great music, the Hakab Short Tent has maybe the most magical moment in Oktoberfest each year. This happens at closing time of the last day of the festival, when everybody lights up sparklers and joins in singing Sierra Madre. Our third they didn't cut yep. off the lights. They have no whole vibe over there, okay? Number one, still was lit, though. Yeah, they had to make up their own music. They was up in there cutting up. They had a few minutes down on the table, chugging it down, uh, but... Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, I'm looking at the energy, energy. They all have energy, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong, trust me. But it looked though. more like, we're going to just hum together, yes, you know yes. what I'm saying? Just yes. way back and forth. How yeah, many beers it taste before, you know what I'm saying, they start to... You yeah, asking the wrong person. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. You're asking the wrong person. Favorite beer tent at Oktoberfest is the Schutzen. Oh, this like Located near the foot of the Lady Bavaria statue, this tent is one of the most favorite among locals. Because the Schutzen is very Strollers. popular and has a couple Baby thousand Strollers. less seats than Family both Hofbrau friend. and Haka, <laughs> it can fill up very fast even on weekdays. The name Schutzen, meaning shooters, goes back to the days where there used to be shooting competitions at Oktoberfest, oh. and today the tent attracts a lot of international celebrities. Oh, with an iconic green, red, and yellow interior, the Schutzen is often called the music tent. This is because they not only get the best bands on Oktoberfest, but they also have a largely German-speaking crowd that really gets into all of the music. Mm. We absolutely love this tent, but we highly suggest that you check out our Oktoberfest music guide at bigboytravel.com before attending so you know what the songs are all about. I don't know, babe. Which one has the hardest tent so far? Number two with the heaven drop? Or number three with the green and the yellow and the yes, all the colors like exotic you know. I'm colors. all about the kids. The heaven mural look, it, it was cute. It was given. It was a given. But this is giving me circuits and the kids. I saw strollers, so yeah, it's yeah, giving yeah. me family friendly. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stick with the, th the third one, the shooters tent. Let's keep going. Let's mm -hmm. keep going. One of the most famous aspects of the music inside the Schutzen tent the is their very unique version of the popular Oktoberfest song called Ein Prosit. There are a couple different aspects to the Schutzen version of the song, which starts with their own signature call to action to raise your glasses and get ready. Yeah, we live too. They lit. The middle of the song Ein Prosit inside the Schutzen tent is the normal salute to friendship and good times. After the countdown call to cheers with your neighbors, there's an extra special festive part added onto the end of the song here. Yeah. 
Schutzen serves Lohenbrau beer, which is the brewery that hosts the famous after party almost every night of Oktoberfest. Unlike most of the main beer tents, the Schutzen has a chow? full... You know, he's standing on the chow uh, neck right no. now. No? 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 Oh, it's <laughs> fake. So they have the family friendly, mm -hmm. and then they have the go bring the baby home and come back for the after party. I See, like it. There's the only tent Strategy. they have an after party. Now, I don't know the if number family. one was like the after party and all in one party. All in one. You know what I'm saying? Number two is like the vibe. We're going to mm -hmm. sparkle this mug. Like, we're going to sprinkle everything yes, around here. Yes. That's cute. Civilized. This one got an after party. This yes. one got the kids involved. Yes. And they passing pretzels around. Pretzels. They thinking about the kids. I like it. I like it. I like it. Barn at Southwest Corner, which serves schnapps, mixed drinks, champagne, and wine. This tent is also well known for having the best pig dishes on their menu, which is really saying something since Munich is famous for its pork. Mm -hmm. Visiting the Schutzen tent is also a great opportunity to visit the nearby Lady of Bavaria statue. Standing 60 feet tall on a 23 foot base, you can actually climb the back of the statue to get a bird's eye view of the Oktoberfest grounds. The fourth best tent at Oktoberfest is the Kefa's Tavern, which is definitely a must on any itinerary. Unlike the other tents at Oktoberfest, Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern is designed to be like a rustic farmhouse inside where you can get that Bavarian coziness known as Gemütlichkeit. Okay. It is cozy. Everybody in there just doing their own thing. Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern nice can lights. easily be our top 10, as it has the most authentic atmosphere, a high level of fun, and the best food at Oktoberfest. The only reason it isn't in the top spot is because it fills up fast, making it difficult for many visitors to get in. But with a little planning following our reservation guide, you'll get in with ease. Okay, so, so these are our people that everybody can't really, you know, drink and stay up. These are the people who say, there's a bedtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a bedtime. I like it. It's giving me cozy. It's giving me restaurant. Yeah. That's what it's giving me. It's, it's, giving, a, it's, it's giving a lot of interaction and just vibed out like it's the energy is there in this, uh, mm -hmm. in this atmosphere. It's like everybody's going to laugh with you, hug you, say hello to you. A lot of things going on here. Yeah, but all that, yeah. You know what it reminds me of? What's that? Ryan's. Ryan's, Ryan's. Oh, the Ryan's. restaurant. I know it's a restaurant, but I forgot how I look in inside. It was a buffet. Ryan's. I forgot. Yo. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't I'm going to have to go back and look at it. <laughs> <laughs> this country-style tavern is divided into two levels. Each one of them has their own band in the middle, and the segmented seating is a lot more flexible with options for 6 to 12 people and even a couple two-person seats. It's loud in here. It's loud in here. Yeah, it's loud in there. From top to bottom, k Oktoberfest Tavern is exactly <laughs> is what the club. festival is supposed to feel like. It has amazing music, gourmet food, and almost every inch of the tavern turns into a dance floor. You'll have to plan ahead to get inside, and you're definitely going to want to dress traditionally, but the level of fun and friendliness you'll find inside KFAL's Oktoberfest Tavern is truly unmatched. Okay, so up, babe, out of the, what we on, number four? Number four? Out of the four tents, what's your pick? Uh, of course, man, I got babies, you know what I'm saying? And they, they've had some pretzels out on number three. Okay, I'm gonna stick with number three. Yeah, number three is nice, it's vibed out, I like it. Um, This is definitely, you can't bring no kids to this one. They got too many floors to be it's climbing loud. on. It's loud. It's loud, you know what I'm saying? They're not taking can't, it down. Nah, <laughs> negative, <laughs> negative. In addition to its energetic interior, Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern also has the best outdoor beer garden at the festival. Okay. We love how the rustic elements carry like outside, outside into the beer garden and it gets really stunning after dark. <laughs> While Oktoberfest is famous for its beer, you definitely have to check out all the sparkling wines and champagne at the Kofla's Wine Tent. What there are actually tons oh, of places to get wine at Oktoberfest, but because Kofler's is sponsored by Neffenberg Sect, which is one of the most famous wineries in Bavaria, you'll have over 25 different labels to choose from just in one tent. Another thing that makes Kofler's wine tent very unique is the fact that it is a true festival hall designed to feel like a royal hunting lodge. With only 2,500 seats, the cozy atmosphere inside the Kofler's wine tent is accented by the fact that it is segmented off into intimate feeling booths. 
This design really helps the Kofla's wine tent come alive in the evenings as everybody dances on top of their sturdy benches. With a great drink menu, a very cozy layout, and an amazing concert-like atmosphere in the evenings, you definitely need to add the wine tent to your list at Oktoberfest. Number one, number five, those crowds could exchange locations and still have fun. <laughs> they love the this party. This is smaller, though. But I'm saying, they, like, look, oh, everybody's okay. standing around. The tourists, and they, sorry. They, they cutting up, they dancing. Yeah, this is how it is with number one, too. Yeah, this one seems like we will go to number three with the kids, then come back later that night for this one, for the wine. For the wine? For the wine. For the wine. You got a lot of options. Yes. Yes, yes. I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> The sixth best tent at Oktoberfest is the Schottenhamel, which also happens to be the oldest on the grounds dating back to 18... The sixth best tent at Oktoberfest is the Schottenhamel, which also happens to be the oldest on... Kids! Right here, is this person carrying a whole bunch of something? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it's like they're carrying a whole bunch of something right here. The, the grounds dating back to 1867. 1867, like... When Schottenhamble first started, oh, it was a tiny shack that could only hold 50 farmers at a time, and now it's one of the biggest at Oktoberfest with over 9,000 seats. Okay. Oh, the young okay. Folk. While this tent is extremely popular with Bavarians of all ages, for decades okay. the Schottenhamble has been the favorite place of young Munich residents in their 20s to visit. Okay. My brother in there getting his drink on. Look at him. He's cutting because up. Because the Schottenhamble is very popular with locals, the unreserved sections can fill up faster than normal, even on weekdays. This is one of the ones, number the six is the ones where you walking up up and through that, you see when you're a nephew or nieces, you know what I'm saying, at an older, you know, little presentable age. Mm, yes. Because you can see the group, the age group is very versatile in here. Mm -hmm. Very versatile. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. Animal also has a very important role at Oktoberfest, as it's here that exactly noon on the opening Saturday, the mayor of Munich taps the first keg and declares the festival open for all. Even if you can't make it here on opening day, the Schottenhamel is a great place to start your own Oktoberfest adventure. Man, they sit on the tables, chairs. They kind of They having a good old time. Going back to 1901, the Brau Rosel is one of the tents that really keeps tradition alive at Oktoberfest. Roughly translated to English as the Brewer's Rosie, the Brau Rosel was named after the daughter of the original brewmaster of this tent. They pack. Rosie was beautiful, charismatic, and would wow the tent with her amazing yodeling skills. Over 10, Today those yodeling skills are still on display as a tent ceremonially has a yodeler multiple times a day in Rosie's honor. With an amazing atmosphere, the Brau Rosal has remained one of the favorites among locals and is easy to find thanks to the two 60-foot tall maypoles near its entrance. Since the 1980s, the Brau Rosal has also been home to Gay Sunday, which takes place on the first Sunday of Oktoberfest each year. We ain't gonna speed past that. Like, he didn't just say that on Sundays, everybody's extremely happy. So that's what that means. Like, everybody's that's literally happy, happy Sunday. I'm talking about, like, they most joy. And then they got that beer in their system. Happy Sunday. Every Sunday? Happy Sunday. That Sunday. That Sunday. That Sunday. Ha that's not bad. Happy Let's Sunday. get it. Okay. Traditions, then you definitely need to check out the Ox Tent. The Ox Tent. Ooh. Opened in 1881, this huge tent has an interior filled with blue and white garland, but it is most famous for its juicy ox meat sandwiches. The oxen tent is also well known for its amazing prime rib dish, which is often considered the best meal at Oktoberfest. Hold up, because I gotta say something. Oh, babe, look, they got a cafeteria. Oh, okay, hold up. I call it a cafeteria. I know it's like a little restaurant. Because some people be like, she said water park. I'm talking about the colors. That's what it's making me think of a water park. I know there's no water park there. I think. Right. I mean, I mean, they got people like that, but I just don't feel like we. Have, I have to explain. I know, but some people be like. Gotta let their mind wonder. You know. We don't got a water park. This is strictly beer. Right. Nah, but yeah. I feel that. Like, but look, number eight, best ribs in town. You think? That's what he just said. Oh. Okay. Let me play it back. Let me play it back. Let me play it back. He said he had the best ribs. Ox meat sandwiches. The Oxen Tent is also well known for its amazing prime rib dish, which mm. is often considered the best meal at Oktoberfest. Mm. Mm. The spot and beer goes great with the food, and if you walk to the open kitchen, you can see the oxen being cooked fresh on the rotisserie. Yes, okay. 
They typically cook seven oxen a day here, and the names for each one are listed on the front of the tent as you enter. Even if you can't get inside the oxen tent, they have a secret side door where you can get an ox meat sandwich for takeaway. Oh, that's fine, bro. That's perfect. That's perfect. If you want to feel a throwback to old school Oktoberfest, then you really need to visit the marquee tradition tent inside vintage Oktoberfest, known as the Odewiesen. This area of the grounds was set up in 2010 in honor of the 200th anniversary of modern Oktoberfest, but it became so popular that they kept it around as a permanent event. The marquee tradition is the most family friendly out of all the tents, and they have very flexible booking options for reservations even for foreigners all the way into August. Throughout the day there will be live performances from traditional folk groups including whip snappers, dancers and singers. Them boys need to be on the horse. The tradition tent is also one of the only places you can drink from a real stoneware stein instead of the large one liter glass mugs known as mosses. I don't know bro, so I heard that a certain mug made the beer taste better. Not good. A certain glass make it last. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I need to know, like, is, is it a stone cup better than a glass for you guys, like preferably? Yeah. I think it keeps it ice cold. Maybe so. It does make it better. Maybe so. Okay, okay. It's all of the attention to detail from the old school mugs, the dancing, and the vintage yes. folk groups that make the tradition tent a really cool place to visit while you're at Oktoberfest. Right, As one of the right, okay, right. so I think I would go there for the experience. You know, I love authentic cultures. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the experience, I don't want to go where you know it's a tourist attraction. I want to go for the experience. Number one was the biggest tourist attraction to yeah. us. Yeah, a hundred percent. They even had a section for the tourists. Right. So I would have felt <laughs> real like pointed out at that point. It was yeah. Like he's American. Some. Mm -hmm. Favorite tents of locals from Munich. The Augustiner is considered to have the best beer at Oktoberfest. The Augustiner Brewery definitely is a thing of pride in Munich as it was founded in 1328 by local monks. We especially love their light beer known in German as Hellas. The beer inside the Augustiner tent tastes extra fresh as it's one of the only places that still serves out of wooden barrels. In addition to having the best beer at Oktoberfest, the Augustiner also has a very gorgeous interior. With dim lighting and a green vaulted ceiling, the atmosphere can become very romantic inside the Augustiner tent. If you're looking for a beautiful atmosphere where you're surrounded by locals and have the best beer at Oktoberfest, the Augustiner might be the tent for you. Yo, man, that Often green, called the dessert. Yo, that green is so far. It's like one of my fave colors right there. And how true green it is. It's not like one of the more off greens or that little bleachy green. Y'all got like mm -hmm. some real detailed green. designer green colors on these. Like y'all, y'all, y'all do y'all thing. Y'all do y'all thing. Tent. Cafe Kaiserschmann is the only one of the 22 small tents that litter the Oktoberfest grounds, like good, which makes our top overall beer tents list. Really look kitty. It's not look surprising kitty, like. that Kaiserschmann so, means a silly it. emperor when you see the playful gingerbread-like exterior. Do you remember the first one that was kitty like? The circus one. Which one? Which number was that? The third one. There you go. All right. You Hold see up. It? Wait, let me read it. Okay. So right. it's called the dessert. Oh, I know what we're going. This the one going to beat all of them. You think dessert. so? I feel it. Yeah. I feel Sparkling it. Sparkling Prosecco. Mm -hmm. Tangy drinks. Family Talk friendly. About Talk about it. Yeah. It's screaming family friendly. I and see what we're going. The first thing I seen was this big building right here. I thought it looked like a, a, a blow up balloon or something. Mm -hmm. It's, it's supposed <coughs> to be gingerbread. Me. But it's fire. <coughs> The cafe is run by one of Munich's best confectionery shops, and the playful atmosphere is enhanced by freshly baked pastries, sweet gourmet treats, and amazing drinks. I like it. The tangy like cocktails it. are great, but the drink of choice at Kaiserschmann is definitely Prosecco. While this tent attracts an older crowd, there's definitely no shortage of fun. As a cool tradition, they have a ceremonial cake cutting in honor of King Ludwig I, whose wedding in 1810 kicked off modern Oktoberfest. In addition to the desserts and the sweet drinks, what really drives the atmosphere in the Kaiserschmann is the music. There's even a custom catwalk for the musicians. We cover all the tents from this video, plus a couple extra ones you need to know about in great detail at our guide at bigboytravel.com slash Oktoberfest.
We update our best beer tent rankings Wait. often, but we also cover many of the other attractions around the Oktoberfest grounds, including the rides, carnival games, beer gardens, and freestanding drink stands. These drink stands serve everything from wine to champagne and schnapps. It can be a great place to stop where you explore the grounds and hop between the beer tents. There's even a hidden wheat beer carousel where you get to slowly rotate while you drink your beer. And the vintage carousel almost feels like a mini beer tent. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Share it with your friends. Uh, uh, he said they had a spot where you sip and drink and it slowly spins. I just see myself stepping off and my feet going this way, <laughs> my body going this way, and you like this. And mm -mm -mm. Yeah, all oh, y'all. Y'all got some vibes, man. This is definitely grown folk type of energy right here. Yeah, but I like that, you know, it is family friendly. You don't yep, have to yep. go into the tent. You could just do all the rides and the things like that. 100%. And yeah, yeah, go yeah. up to a little spot to get a drink if you wish, you know. Yeah, I can't see myself stationary. I got to explore. Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, like that. Even parades. Like I can't sit too long in one spot. I got to mm -hmm. keep it pushing. 100%. Yeah. So this was cool. Let us know your faith. <laughs> Let us yeah. know your faith. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. If you like to support the channel that way. As well as our reaction request form is in our description, description box, box below. below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.